Hey, how's it going? So for today's lesson, we are going to do, be dividing with two digit dividends, okay? So um, let's first talk about what a dividend even is, okay? And here's some important words you also may hear in the lesson today. So a dividend is basically the number that you're dividing from, the number that's in the inside. The number on the outside is called the divisor and our answer is a quotient, okay? So if you ever hear quotient, that means you're gonna come up with an answer to a division problem, okay? Another word you may hear, um, you may not have it every single problem, but you may hear it for some problems, is a remainder. <clears throat> so a remainder is basically whatever's left, okay? So once you divide everything out, you might have something left over, and that's what a remainder is. And the way that you abbreviate remainder is you can put an R, okay? So an R and then whatever it is that's left over, okay? And you'll see more of what the remainder is later on, okay? But just know for our lesson today, the number in the inside is going to be two digits, okay? Later on it will be longer, but today we're gonna start with something a little bit smaller to work with, okay? So, before we even divide, it's important to know what all the steps are for division or for long division, you might have heard it called. So it's D, M, S, B, and which means divide, then you multiply, then you subtract, then you bring down. There's many ways you can remember these steps, okay? You could do don't miss school bus, dad, mom, sister, brother, does McDonald's sell burgers? There's so many different ways you can remember the steps for long division, but you do whatever helps you, okay? But it's just really important to know these steps though. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with a problem. And we will go through those steps and I will show you how we do a division problem, okay? All right, so we have our two digit dividend on the inside. This is our divisor and we're trying to come up with a quotient. So, step one, you're going to divide, okay? So we are gonna divide the three into our very first number, which is a six. We're not gonna worry about any other numbers, just worry about the first one first. <laughs> so, how many times does a three go into a six? It goes in two times. So we write it right above the six because the three goes into the six two times, okay? That's step one. Step two is to multiply. So now you are gonna take these two numbers right here and you're gonna multiply them. So three times two is six. So you'll write it right underneath the number we've been working with, which is the six, right? Three times two is six. Next step after multiply is you are going to subtract. Okay, so now we subtract six and six. When you subtract those two numbers, you get a zero. Okay, this step is very important just to kind of check your work, but you always make sure this number is lower than this number. If it ends up being higher, you'll know, oh, I should have picked something higher up here. Okay, so this number should always be lower, and it is, so we did a good job. Now for the next step after subtraction, you are gonna bring down the next number. So we're gonna bring down this three, down with that zero, okay? And then you just do all the steps over again. First step, divide. How many times does three go into three? Goes into it once. And do you see where I placed it? Since we're working with the three now, I put it above the three. Now you're going to multiply. Three times one is three. Next step after multiply is subtract. Do we have any other numbers to bring down? We don't. And since this is a zero, we do not have a remainder. So remember how I talked about remainder? Let's say we have like a two or a one or something that would, we would then write remainder, whatever it was we were left over with, okay? Since we have nothing left over, there's no remainder. 
and our quotient or answer is 21. Okay, as you can see below, I have a spot for you to check your work. It's very important to check your work when you're doing long division because there's so many steps. You want to make sure you got the right answer in the end. So it's just a good way to just like double check. So this is the way you're going to check. You're going to multiply these two numbers together and then you should get this number in the inside. So it's 21 times 3 is 63. And that's what we have in the inside so we know, okay, we must have the right answer. Okay? So that's a really great way that you can check your work. Alright, problem number two. So we are going to do the same thing. We're going to use all those steps. So now I'm just going to kind of put it to the side like this. And if you ever need to, you can actually write them right on your paper. Like you could put, don't miss school bus. So you remember them. And then you just go ahead and start. And then every time you use it, you can maybe put a check mark next to it. Okay, so first let's divide. So seven goes into nine one time, so we just divided, right? Now we're going to multiply. We multiply these two numbers together, seven and a one, to get seven, okay? Now we subtract and get two, okay? Then you bring down your next number. Do you see how this was actually, it wasn't a zero, it was a two? So instead of this just being a 6 we're bringing down, we brought down the 6, but what number is it now? Now it's a 26, right? Because we had 2 left over. So you leave the 2 there, you bring down the 6, and it's now 26. So now we're going to decide how many times does 7 go into 26. And 7, by the way, we're dividing. 7 goes into 26, let's see. 7 times 1 is 7, that's not enough. 7 times 2 is 14, not enough. 7 times 3 is 21. That's pretty close. 7 times 4 is 28, which would be too high. So let's do 7 times 3, which is 21. Now we're going to subtract. And we have nothing else to bring down. But do you see how I have a 5 there? So I actually will have a remainder on this problem. Okay? So I'm going to put an R and five. So my answer is 13, remainder five, okay? So again, if you're ever wondering like, what do I do next? Use this, and if you need to check them as you do the steps, that can help you like keep things straight if you need to. So just remember those steps, and it'll help you a lot, okay? It's really important to practice those steps a lot. Okay, now let's check. So to check, we are going to multiply 13 by seven, and I'll show you what to do with this remainder. But 13 times seven, let's do that first. And we get 91. So the remainder is five, so you just add that in. And get 96. Did we start with a 96? We did, so we know, okay, I must have gotten the right answer, okay? So again, if there's a remainder, you multiply these two together, and add that with it, and you should get this number in the inside, okay? All right, so those are the steps for long division. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Once you go through the steps, if you still have numbers left, you repeat the steps again, okay? So you just keep going and going until you're done bringing numbers down, okay? All right, okay, good luck.